I'm Patty Granville. I'd like to welcome you today to Arts in Action. With me on the set here in the Brownlee Auditorium of the Granville Arts Center, I have Buff Schur and Joseph Jones. And we're going to talk about Singing in the Rain, the Garland Summer Musical's 31st season, opening June 14th. And it's so wonderful to have both of you here today. Well, We've spent a lot right. of time together. <laughs> The three, mus the three musketeers. That's right. right. And I think, I feel like, uh, of course, this is a Gene Kelly show, and both of you are choreographers, dancers, and have a lot of a background like Gene Kelly. So I feel like you can really identify with this show because of the dancing involved. Uh, Buff start out with, we did this first in 2006. Of course, yep. Joseph was there doing the role of Don Lockwood and choreographing as well. Um, what are the difficulties of this production? The difficulty that I see for this production is Joe is doing two things. He's not only doing the lead in the show, Don Lockwood, the character Don Lockwood, but he's also choreographing part of, well, some, how many numbers? About five, six? Mm -hmm. Yeah, About which five. is tough. It is very tough. The choreographer with him is Kelly McCain, who's also doing Nine to Five, the second show. But this show is especially difficult for him because you know, uh, to do both in such a short span of time. Uh, you know, we open in the fourth week. Rehearsals are really only three weeks before we really get involved. So for him, it's tough. I have the easy job this time. <laughs> I just block people. Well, he has to dance and sing. And he has to dance and sing. In the rain, let's talk about the water and the rain. And uh, we had a lot of fun with that in 2006. Are you going to make any changes, Joseph? Uh, we may make some small changes to the set, but that's where J Bob or um, Buff's um, hard work comes in, is making all of that work, making all of that look right. There's so many little technical things that go on with, with the making the rain, keeping everything safe. Yeah, it's interesting to talk about the rain. <clears throat> Joe brought up several days ago, he said, you know what, let's change the gutter that he dances in. And so he called, hey, tell me, what did you do, actually? What did you do? <laughs> so I got in touch with Kelly, the set designer. Kelly, the set designer, right. And Kelly Cox has been with us for a number of years, and he, he designed it originally in 2006. So what we did was we talked about maybe making the trough a little smaller that I dance in because the visibility of my feet is not that great to the audience. We when can I'm see in the water, trough. but not the feet. Right, right. So the audience knows the water's there. So we're going to try to make the sidewalk a little wider, do some more dancing, change this choreography around. So at least a foot, mm -hmm. at least a foot. Hopefully. That helps, that'll help, that'll help. With that famous lamppost <coughs> that's there. And uh, we will have that lamppost. And then we have, mm -hmm. for the role of Cosmo, we have Carl Hendon, Hendon, who was with us last summer doing the lead in How to Succeed. And he is also a tap dancer too. So right. I think the two of you are going to be fantastic together. Yes, he's an excellent tap dancer. I know that you had a chance to visit with him. He was on tour and came through with Spam a lot, and we had a chance to work with him some. That was he was time, just yeah. terrific last year. So I'm delighted that he's able to be with us this year. Uh, uh, he's, a, he's a wonderful tap dancer and just a very disciplined performer. That's all there is to it. A lot of fun to work with. And we have Haley Ewers, who has been working with GSM, I would say, since she was in high school. And uh, she is back to do the role of Kathy Selden. She looked terrific yesterday. <laughs> she, she had her hair curled, you know, the way it should. Because usually Haley has either got very short hair or the long hair. But she had it fixed she, up for she's Kathy. She's ready for Kathy, for Kathy Selden. Selden. Right. She has her, got her look. Stereotypical <laughs> hair for Kathy Selden. Right, 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 right. But right. she started with us when she was 14. Really? Is that Haley right? did. She said 14? Oh my gosh. And so she's she, 24. Oh, she's 24. And years. Buff, it's been 31 years and uh, we're oh still dear. going strong. 31 years. And of course we go back even before that to Casa Manana when we first met. Casa Manana in the 70s and uh, then dinner theater in the late 70s and early 80s. And then lo and behold, she calls on the phone and says, I'm the, what was it, what is it? It was that? 1982 the, and I was just hired to be the director of the Garland Center for the Performing Arts. Right, right. And I called Buff and I said, um, why don't we see if we could put something together 
uh, if you'll come in and direct, and we'll do what you had at Casa Mignon, and we'll make it educational, too. And, of course, we are tied in with the college, right. with the community college district, and have been since we started in 1983 were the first musicals, but we started talking about them in 1982. Who was the college then, early on? Was it Eastfield? It was, well, we started, it was Richland, and Richland then Eastfield, first, then, and then we went back to Richland, and now we are back, back to Eastfield. Eastfield. How yes. about that? <laughs> so, uh, but it's always been with the Dallas College. Uh, right. County College Community District, and the great thing is we have given like, oh, hundreds of scholarships to young people yeah. who are in the shows or working backstage tech, and we had a large turnout for our tech sign-up um, just last night, too, Good. at the beginning Good. of rehearsals. Good. So this is something they can do if they're in the show, behind the scenes. Uh, even some of the teachers want it for continuing education, so it's been a wonderful program. Excellent, excellent, mm -hmm. excellent. That's terrific. And I do want to mention, before we run out of time, we do have the DYA camp uh, production that's coming up the end of June, June 28th through the 30th, and that's Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, and uh, Mark Molino, who is also our musical director with uh, Singing in the Rain, is in charge of the camp along with Vonda Bowling and uh, Neely Dixon. And Where do you do Perry that? that easy. The camp is actually they're they're. They start the camp at the Plaza Theater for two weeks, and they come over to our small theater, and their production is, Joseph the show is? is in yeah. the small theater. And it's the weekend after, right after we close Singing in the Rain. So Singing in the Rain opens June 14th. Mark your calendars, and we'll run those two weekends, closing on June 23rd. And then the 28th through the 30th, we have Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Okay. Just your last thoughts about Singing in the Rain. Well, I'm uh, at this moment, I'm working on... Uh, rehearsal sequence so I'm hoping that we don't get any more conflicts the tough part of doing a show like this is conflicts everybody's got work everybody's got a job everybody it's works. a cast of 35 it's a big cast it's a big cast and hopefully uh, we're into rehearsal last night was our first rehearsal it went great absolutely great the sound was wonderful <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard them all good. singing the they singing in the rain good, right. down the halls and and it just got my blood pumping I was very excited about so it. we read through the script yesterday he remembered some of the things that I forgot <laughs> yep. we help each other out yeah, a lot like yeah, that yeah, yeah, we yeah. fight like cat and dog <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I think it's going it's, to be good It's a good wonderful cast. team. Yeah. And our, our production staff, too. We mentioned some of the people. Uh, we also, about Kelly McCain and Kelly Cox, and we have Lynn Malden with props. And some of the people, Susan White, who has done lighting design oh, in New York, Broadway shows, and is White, our yeah. lighting designer. Yeah. And uh, it's just a very uh, highly professional cast and staff that we bring together for the Garland yeah. Star musicals. And, of course, we have a full orchestra. And a lot of people don't realize that. That will be under the direction of you No, know, it's Mono. one of the very few. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's only one of two that has a full orchestra now, mm -hmm. you know. But... Uh, how many people in the 15? We 15 generally have anywhere from 14 <coughs> yeah. uh, to 15 uh, people in the orchestra pit, right. which we happen to be sitting on right now. This is kind of exciting. We've never done the show this way, looking out into Halfway the audience. Halfway in the pit right now. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't want to lower the pit, but of course this pit behind us does drop down eight feet, yep. and that's where the orchestra is. And we get applause a lot of times when the orchestra starts floor level, and then we lower them. Because After this all is these one years, it's the still few. exciting for me to sit out there opening night and watch that pit go slowly down. Making sure that it does. <laughs> <laughs> well, it really is one of the few places. Even Dallas Summer Musicals does not have the electric, That's the true. elevator pit. That's very it's true. very rare, and uh, when people come in, even from New York, that see this, they're very impressed with it. And uh, mm -hmm. we've utilized it for many years. Fortunately, it still works pretty good. <laughs> well, the orchestration for this show matches the movie almost identically. So when the people come to see it, with the exception of just a few songs that are a little different, um, we really try to capture the essence of the film as much as we can and as much of the choreography as we can. You know, at this moment, Singing in the Rain is supposed to be the number one music, musical, you know. Movie uh, musical from 1950. Yeah. It is. And I wonder, I was just going to ask you, why do you think that is? Well, first of all, Adolph Green and Betty Comden were the great writers for this thing. Mm -hmm. Very well known on Broadway. So they really knew how to put dialogue and lyrics together. And it all sort of fits. Not only that, but the conflict goes on and on. You don't get bored. You don't get tired. At the end of the second act is, you know, it's just marvelous what happens on stage. You, you, you don't sit there sleeping. You're waiting, oh my God, what's going to happen? <laughs> it really, the interest continues all the way through the end of the 
And See. you know, the thing that I always found interesting about this show, a lot of people don't realize what a, a trauma it was in Hollywood when suddenly they were going to go yep. to the films that had talking because they had these beautiful stars that didn't do anything other than they were acting and it was like they were pantomiming things, but you never saw them or heard them actually speaking. And so this is what this show is all about. And of course, mm -hmm. you have Lena Lamont, who is the beautiful star, but her voice is just off the charts that you don't want to hear her. <laughs> right. So. Well, audiences love a show within a show, too, and they love to see what goes on in the background of a show while it's being produced, and so they see that in the, in the way it's staged and in the, in the way the sound was introduced into the film. Yeah, and, and the, the audience tricks. sees the backstage mechanics the tricks of, the of tricks. putting this thing together. Yeah. Right. And there's also live film, in, not live film, I can't say <laughs> live, film in the show, uh, some of it from the actual... Uh, singing in the rain, mm -hmm. the movie Singing in the Rain. So, you know, they're seeing live and they're seeing film and uh, uh, I, my feeling, and with a great cast, we have a wonderful cast. Thank goodness it turned out that, uh, especially after last night, I was a little afraid of certain things, but I think it's going to be just terrific. Everybody all the way down the line, from Joseph to Cosmo, Carl Hendon. And, of course, we've got Jay Taylor. Taylor back. Jay has done many leading roles. Yep, Jay Unfortunately, Taylor. he won't be singing much. He's got a fantastic voice, but he's playing the role of the producer. Right, <laughs> exactly. And all of the taps are real. <laughs> Unlike a movie, no. we don't dub any taps. Everyone's shoes that are tapping actually do have taps on them. All the and we taps do that every me. show. <laughs> Joseph, just a little history. When did you start tap dancing? At what age? Uh, I was about 12 years old when I started with a group of girls. Um, that's the way it is for all young boys, right? Absolutely. Sure. There's one class boy. Full of girls and, and there was that one boy. And no, none of my sisters no. danced either. Just, just me. Okay. Yeah. And uh, just uh, to tell us a little bit about your son, who has been doing a show on Broadway, too. Well, it hasn't opened at this time. It's uh, on a temporary hold, actually, but he was cast in a, in a new um, remake of a, of a musical of the movie Tuck Everlasting, a Disney movie. So that hopefully will open on Broadway at some point. But yeah, unfortunately, it's He's been He's following in his father's hold. footsteps. And yes. is he a tap dancer too? He dances, graduate of the University of Arkansas, of uh, Michigan. My daughter's going to the University of Arkansas mm -hmm. for nursing. But he's, he and, and then my other daughter, Caitlin, is a, a member of the USO touring show with Sesame Street Live. And she leaves in another week for another world tour. Is she home now? She's home oh, for another really? week, okay. yeah. Good, good, good. So she's out a, for how long after she leaves here? She'll leave for about a six to eight month tour. She's been doing this. She's this is terrific. right, and she yeah. worked with us terrific? too. Yeah, that's her life is that's fantastic. Touring. That is fantastic. Good. Well, I know that Singing in the Rain is going to be exciting. I think it's going to even be better than the last time. And, of course, I'm, I don't know whether we should even mention we had some unfortunate things happen last time with one of our Cosmo actually getting hurt as he was trying to dance up the wall. And uh, <laughs> the one time in the history of the summer musicals, we did have to cancel performance. But, you know, what turned around, it's how you make uh, lemonade out of lemons when something happens. Uh, we had one of the fabulous tap dancers who was in the show came in. We had, um, at the time it was Andy, and he was on a cane. He did his lines and sang the songs. We had someone else dance it for him, and they would high-five one another, and the audience <laughs> loved it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what happens yeah. when <laughs> in, true. in making the show go on. We did have to cancel one, but we did have that make One performance. It, I, yeah, it was I one performance, yeah. but yeah. I yeah. think in the history of 31 years. So hopefully we're not going we're not going to be dancing up the wall this time, are we? Joseph. I don't think so. <laughs> no. We will have the uh, the big scene where they come over the couch and the couch goes over and and of course most we've got of the, the famous the scenes mm -hmm. in the movie we emulate we do again. Uh, I think uh, you know uh, in any event the audience is going to see a stage version of the famous movie. That's really what they're going to see. Mm -hmm. and, and they're going to love it. I well, let's hope so. Well, I want to thank both of you for the many years that you've given to Garland Summer Musicals. This, we're celebrating our 31st season. It's hard to believe we've been in this facility 31 years and the summer musicals. Mm -hmm. And Buff, I want to mm -hmm. thank you again for all the many years and the direction and being at the helm of thank steering you. us. Thank you. And I think we're going to have a very successful season. The box office 
office. Advance shows that it's terrific. That's good. good. That's good. Excellent. Thank you. And we want to thank all of you for joining us today. We hope you'll see us again next time on Arts in Action.